Hi guys and welcome back to Mike's Corner. In this video, I thought to myself, I keep seeing these advertisements on AliExpress for this sports camera. Now, I've got very low expectations for this, but I thought to myself, okay, let's go ahead, let's get one of these things and let's give it a real test to see exactly what the quality is like, what it sounds like, and what it, if it's actually waterproof. So in this video, Let's have a look at the underwater waterproof sports camera. Let's get unboxing. Okay, very basic box on this one. Just pretty much a, a box. Nothing on it apart from your standard AliExpress label. Underwater waterproof sports DV multifunction multifunctional outdoor riding sports camera they could put as many words as they want on this so let's have a look see what we get in the box okay so we've got multiple things here so that looks like the camera and a lot of accessories like a little Thing here, some Velcro straps, another little thing here, another little thing here. Okay, so let's move the box out of the way. So let's see what, all the bits we get into this little box. And of course, the instruction manual. So let's have a quick look at the instruction manual. So what have we got here? Just a basic instructions. So the warning, there's a preference, which was a little uh, product features, uh, there's an OK button, there's an indicator light, there's power mode and well power mode, power and mode, sorry. There's a lens, USB, micro SD, and a mic. So pretty much everything we've seen. There's also a battery cover underneath. So you can, you can actually take some spare batteries with you and change the batteries out when you wanted to. The added accessories, obviously the, the actual case, there's a clip, there's a handlebar pole mount, there's a mount 2, mount 3, there's a helmet mount, a battery, which is already in the camera, um, there's bandages, and USB cable, and of course the manual. It also goes through how you can actually have the different accessories and use them in different ways. So that's everything we've got in the box. So let's have a look at the, the, the actual thing we want to look at, which is the camera itself. Okay, and it comes in its little waterproof case. And we will be testing this. I do have a fish tank, so that's gonna go in the fish tank. And uh, let's have a look what we've got here. So if we take this out, we'll slidey switch here which allows you to remove the camera from the case okay first observations the case that this goes in is far far well or far better made than the camera the, the camera feels cheap jesus hold on it, it feels cheap and nasty in all honesty, the camera, I'm not expecting good things from this. But this, wow! I mean, if I could fit another camera in this that probably wasn't that, I'd be very, very happy. It's just the, the build quote of this is amazing. Great. I mean, that alone for a fiver. Ah, that, that brings me to the price. So how much do we pay for all of this? We paid £5. So... Hence the reference. Just paying five pounds for this, if I had a camera that fitted it, but it probably wasn't that, um, I'd be happy. The, the quality of this feels really good. Now, that doesn't mean it is really good. So we'll be testing if that is actually waterproof. But the camera, let's have a look at the camera. What do we have here? So it's a 1080p camera. It's a fixed lens. There's no adjustment on the focus. Got a couple of buttons here. We've got an up and a down button that looks to be a microphone. 
and we've got an LCD screen at the back a little little light here by the look of it and a micro SD and a micro USB so let's switch it on and see what happens oh that was an interesting sound so I'm just going to turn it off and turn it back on again closer to the mic so you can listen to the noises this makes when you switch it off and on okay is it switching on lovely and when you switch it off <laughs> I would rather it didn't make any noises I want just to switch it on I don't want to see an intro of anything so let's switch the camera back on again and that little tune gosh okay let's go and have a look through the menus so it infinitely starts to show what the camera can see on the back LCD screen if I hold and press down the OK button it comes up with a menu so you can see it's already set for 1080p there's different bits and pieces on here that you can set screensaver time motion detection timestamp if I hold and press it down again it goes to the next menu and there's a format menu the language auto off what frequency it is and what it does if it's set to USB or let's have a look a uh, PC cam I, I really can't imagine this is going to be good um, version I wonder what version it is so that's the version that's loaded on on this I'm not sure there is any newer versions but let's let's get an SD card installed and uh, see what we get Okay, so I've got an SD card in now. I've got a 128 gig SD card. I'm going to go ahead and format the SD card. Okay, that was pretty quick. And now we're going to do some video. And what I have noticed though, it was on fully charged and it's already dropped down to 2% battery. And I haven't even started to record yet. So. Let's start to record. Okay, so I've got the camera up and running. We're doing some quick recording so that I can see myself in the video. Hi me. Um, my current my current setup you can see I've got the, the bits and pieces laid out. And my current my current setup in my room, and there's my lovely vector computer bike, and my 3D printers and my Commodore equipment, and of course myself. So this is the video quality of this camera on indoors. So should we head outside and see what the quality is outside as well? Okay, so here we are going outside. There's my shed. And our back garden. You'll have to excuse the the grass we've just come back from holiday and it's a little long ah should i show you my one my one apple my one apple on my new apple tree so it's its first time doing some apples but this is me in the outside garden using the sports camera waterproof sports camera what's the quality like what's the mic like is it actually worth even five pound for this So in this part, I'm actually saying that I'm about to lower the camera into the fish tank, but you can't hear me because it's in its waterproof case. So shall we see if it leaks? Okay, so we are just back from the fish tank. Let's have a quick look to see if any water has gotten into the actual case. And it all appears fine. Um, there's no water I can see that has gone inside it, but let's pop it open and have a look. 
Okay, so it all looks dry on the inside. I'm not seeing any water in there. No, no water at all on the camera. That seems fine. No water at all. But this brings us to the quality of this camera. So shall we take the SD card out and have a playback of some of the videos that we've recorded? Okay, so after watching the footage that this device has produced, it's it's a clear cut case of absolute piece of crap. Um, it's pretty shit. Um, I love the waterproof case. The camera is garbage. Um, it's gonna go in the bin. It's, I can't believe how bad the quality was. So all the problems that it had is pretty bad. The audio quality, the picture, the abysmal picture quality, it's, it's pretty terrible. And then also the audio lag, where after about 30 seconds of recording, the, vo the, vo the actual audio starts to go out of sync of the video. Um, the waterproof case, on the other hand, was in the fish tank for one minute and there wasn't any leakage of water whatsoever. So this is a big, well, the, the waterproof case, hell yeah, if you can find a camera that's not like to fit inside it, but everything else, what an absolute piece of junk. Save your money, get something better because you're not gonna be happy with that. Hey guys, so that brings us to the end of another video and what a bit of a disappointment. That camera was pretty bad. Um, for this day and age, It's I can go back 10 years to phone cameras that are better than that. It, it's not excusable for a portable camera to have that terrible picture quality. But if you like this kind of thing and you like this video and it was helpful to you, please whack on the like and subscribe. It helps me, it doesn't cost you anything. and creates a bigger channel with bigger things to unbox but as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you next video